What's up guys, Nax Tech here, and in this video I'm going to be checking out the new update for the Galaxy S3 to bring it up to Android version 4.1.2. I'm going to put all the links in the description so you can go ahead and flash this manually if you don't want to wait for Samsung to push this out to you. Um, the version I've got on my phone at the moment is the Polish version, but it's, uh, it's fine. It is unbranded, so you don't get any crap. Uh, and it works really well. If I go ahead into the settings and show you, you can see I'm on Android 4.1.2 here. You'll also notice that I have cracked my Galaxy S3 screen. Yeah, that happened when I got out of the car and it fell out of my pocket and it just cracked on the floor. So nice and frustrating there. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on with the new features of this update. And this update is really cool. It did add a lot of cool features. I'm going to start off with probably the biggest one, and it's from the Galaxy Note 2 and it's multi-view. If you want to use multi-view, basically you hold the back button and you'll see this little quick menu appear here. You can slide that left and it'll hide there. If you want to get it to disappear completely, you hold back and it'll disappear completely. So if we hold back here, you've got your apps here. Now, not all apps are compatible with multi-view. They have to be compatible with multi-view to work. So let me go ahead and show you basically what this does. So you can go ahead and have the gallery open. You go ahead and drag it in and you'll have your gallery. Now, say you wanted to go on the web as well. You can go ahead and grab Chrome and put it down here and you'll see it splits the screen into two. It's real multitasking. You get really full multitasking. And these apps are really cool. Basically, they're, um, they're full apps. They work completely separately as full apps. So if I go ahead and play a video here, you can see that's working while that's happening. I can go ahead and browse the web as well. So, you know, it's really cool. Some, some people will say the screen's a little bit too small on this to use. I don't think it is. I think it's really cool to use. Um, you know, you can really do the both multitasking thing really, really nicely. And it's, uh, it's cool. So you can go ahead and keep basically dragging apps into it and it will just replace them. So you go ahead and have your map set up your navigation while still doing you know, your web searches. So I think multi-view is a really cool feature. It's really exciting. Hopefully more apps will be incorporated soon, but there are quite a few cool ones like Twitter, Facebook, Gmail, Maps, Messaging, Video Player, and the browser. Um, yeah. Next up, guys, we've got PageBuddy. Now, what PageBuddy is, is context-sensitive home screens. And if you still don't know what that means, I'm just going to go ahead and show you, get rid of that uh, little multi-view thing. Basically, when you plug in your headphones, watch what the phone will automatically do. And you can see it's automatically, earphones connected, brought up a page showing me my music, a music player. It's changed the stuff down here. I've now got music player, video player, phone. You can go ahead and swipe. So basically, it adds another home screen just for your music needs. So if you go ahead and take that out, it will disappear and that home screen is no longer there. Now, so far, I've only tried uh, headphones. I don't know if it works with like Bluetooth pairing or anything like that, but it'd be cool if it did. So you can see it's context sensitive. So when you plug in your headphones, the phone thinks, oh, you want to listen to music? It goes to and head and makes a page just for music. So that's really, really cool from Samsung. I'm really glad they did that because, you know, it's a nice little feature. Another change with this update is an updated gallery app or redesigned gallery app, I should say. So it looks the same now. A little bit different now. Basically, it's the gallery app from the Galaxy Note 2, and you can go ahead and hit this button up here, and it gives you loads of different views for your uh, your pictures. You get this nice spiral one. Everything's nice and smooth, as you'd expect. It's kind of cool. You know, there's loads of different views for it. You can go ahead and go in, and uh, you know, stuff just appears really nicely here. You can see some really cool stuff, right? I think it looks and works really well. So a nicely redesigned gallery app as well in this update. You can see it's already shaping up to be a really, really big update, which I think is awesome. Next up, guys, they've gone ahead and allowed you to customize the notification panel. To do this, you can see the, the notification panel here. They've also added the multi-window option for the uh, multi-view. Hit settings, go into, where would it be? Display maybe? Yeah, display. And you can see notification panel here you can go ahead and add and take out the stuff that you don't want, which is really cool. You know, you can rearrange it. You can add these. So if you don't want driving mode, you can go ahead and pull driving mode out. I do want driving mode, so I'm gonna go put it back in. Um, and yeah, you can rearrange the order they appear. So that's kind of nice. It's kind of cool as well. 
that you can have that customizability. So, yeah. Next up, they've added another feature from the Galaxy Note 2 line, and it's called Smart Rotation. You have to go ahead and turn this on because it's off by default. Smart Rotation is actually really cool. Basically, if you try and rotate your phone, it will look for you and notice how your head and the eyes are positioned. And if you're kind of laying down and you don't want the phone to rotate, it won't. I can't really show you that here, but it did work. I did try it. I was laying down. I had the phone kind of tilted, and I didn't want it to tilt. It went ahead and looked for me, noticed that my head was still tilted and didn't and didn't uh, rotate the phone because that can be really annoying you know when you it rotates when you don't want it so yeah another cool feature there added they've also gone ahead and added something to the lock screen if i go ahead and hit up lock screen you can now they always had the ticker information but what they've added to the ticker information is facebook news so you can change your content type from new stock to facebook and if I go ahead and show you the lock screen now, there you go. You can see that you can pull this up and this is basically all your Facebook stuff. It comes along as a little ticker. Kind of cool, right? So you can have all your Facebook news right there on the lock screen if you like it. Let me go ahead and turn that off. Oops. Where am I? Yeah, information ticker. Turn that off. So another cool feature, guys, they've added from the... Uh, Galaxy Note 2 range is contextual tagging in photos. So if I go ahead and bring up a photo that I already did on my table, what you can do now, so imagine this was a picture of a face. Um, you go ahead and press the option buttons and you can automatically face tag. You can tag your buddy in it or you can add a weather tag. There's also loads of other options here. Um, if you add a weather tag, for example, if you go ahead and click it, you can go ahead and say uh, it was a rainy day. And you'll see on the left here, it tags the photo as rainy day. Go ahead and press save. And when you hit this photo, it'll give you the date, the, the uh, you know, the type of weather. And if you've got a face in it, it'll also tag the uh, face of the person. So that's kind of cool. Um, just a nice little feature, you know, just customize it a little bit more, just a little a little bit of difference from normal Android and it, it does make a difference. It is cool that way. They've also added some apps. Well, I say apps, they've added one app and I'll show you what that is. Paper Artist. Again, this came from the Galaxy Note 2. Paper Artist is basically its own version of kind of Instagram. You can basically add all the different filters in the world. You know, you can do loads of cool things with it. You know, this this app is basically what you make of it. I don't really use the uh, the different things like this. You know, you can make some really cool stuff. If you had your own picture here, you know, you could. Uh, it's got a lot of different options. You can see loads of cool options, right? I mean, I don't really use the filters and all that crap, but you could make an interesting photo if you wanted to. They've, I'm sure they've added some other little things like. Um, group cast and stuff like that that I'm not going to go ahead and go into. They've also added some improvements to the uh, keyboard and I have noticed it be a little bit better actually just in terms of responsiveness I'm not hitting the wrong buttons anymore and also the uh, the words up here the uh, spelling information and stuff like that is better it helps and it's just overall better and um, you still got your swipe features if you want to call it swipe but yeah, guys, it's a really, really cool update from Samsung. They've added loads of stuff. I can list it off for you here. Multi-view, page buddy, redesign gallery app, customizable notification panel, Facebook tickers, contextual tagging, paper artist app, smart rotation, and an updated keyboard update. All of this also comes with the fact that it is Android 4.1.2, so you get the latest updates in Android as well, which is nice to see. Great update from Samsung. If you like I said, if you want to go ahead and flash it by yourself, go ahead, because I have no idea how long it'll take for Samsung to get this update out to you. But it's a really, really cool update. So there you go, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all later.